What's good, everybody? Today, we're talking about absolute value equations. So to start off, we need to know the basic concept of absolute value, and that is it can't be negative once it comes out the brackets. So if we're solving for this, we know our answer would either be 8 or negative 8. And the reason why is when we plug negative 8 in, after we drop the brackets, the value is going to turn positive, and this is a true statement. So most important thing when we start off, the absolute value cannot be negative once it comes out the bracket. It's going to turn positive. Now, when we switch over to equations, what we want to make sure is that the absolute value bracket is by itself, which it is. So since it's by itself, this is how we set up the equation to solve. We're going to drop the brackets and rewrite the equation. So this is equation number one. And then for equation number two, we're going to rewrite it. But now it's going to be equal to a negative 25. So this is just a start out for it. Now we solve like a regular equation. And once we do, we're going to have x is equal to 16. Or x is going to be equal to negative 34. But in our next problems, we're going to look at some more absolute value questions that are more complicated. So we're moving on to the last two problems, guys. And when we look at this first example, we notice that the absolute value is not by itself. So for us to solve and create the two equations, we got to get it by itself. So we're going to subtract four. Our new equation is going to look like this. Then we're going to go ahead now and divide by three. At this stage, the absolute value is absolutely by itself. So we can now create the two equations and solve. So we drop our brackets. X plus two is equal to three. And then we rewrite our second equation. Make sure it's negative. And then now we solve like a regular equation. X is equal to one or x is equal to negative 5. So when the absolute value is not by itself, guys, we have to get it absolutely by itself before we can create our equations. Now, in my second example, we have the absolute value of 3x minus 6. We're going to subtract 5, and this should be equal to negative 7. But let's just pay attention right here. So when we're talking about equations, the absolute value cannot be negative. Right? So that should raise your eyebrow already. But let's just make sure that we still add this five because they will try to trick you. Sometimes you'll add this number over like five and the what the equation's equal to will become positive. But in this instance, our question, I'm sorry, our answer is going to be equal to negative two. And because it's negative, there is no solution. But before I go on to the last tip of the day, if you found this video helpful or if it helped explain this at all, we're going to ask that you guys smash the like button for us. really helps us to share our videos. So let's say the problem was something like this, right? We had the same exact problem, but now we switched 5 with, let's say, 10. And this is equal to negative 7, right? So when we look at this problem, we can find the absolute value and the reason why is because when we add 10 on both sides, right, we're now going to have the absolute value of 3x minus 6, which will be equal to positive 3. Now that we have a positive 3, we could drop these brackets, right, and then we could create our two equations. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys on absolute value equations. Smash the like button for us on your way out. And thank you guys so much for joining me today. This is Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters.